So I've been looking for some tempered glass screen protectors for my new Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 and luckily I've come across these ones here and I say luckily because I've managed to find these particular tempered glass screen protectors which come with an applicator and as we can see here this applicator which is like a frame or a guide this allows you to install the tempered glass and get it on straight and this particular set comes with two two tempered glass screen protectors. It also comes with two cleaning wipes, two dust absorbers, one drying cloth, and also an installation manual. So what I'm gonna do now is just talk my way through this particular process. However, I will have to stay quiet when I actually do the application of the glass. And the reason why is because in the past, I've done these things and I've been talking, not concentrated and I've got it wrong. Now, as far as fixing the applicator to the S8 is concerned, I'm gonna try leaving this until the last minute before I actually do the application of the tempered glass. And I just wanna see if that way makes it a little easier. So first thing to do is to give the screen a really good clean with this cleaning wipe here. And I would definitely recommend that you have clean hands before you do any of these things. And also get right into the corners when you're doing this cleaning. So what I'm gonna do is just get on with this. However, I will just speed this section up obviously because it might, it might just take a little while actually just to do this, but just be thorough about it as you're doing it. But nonetheless, I will just speed this bit up here. Okay, so I'm quite confident that I've given that a good clean and making sure to get into the corners and right into the center as well. So what I'm gonna do now is just dry off the excess fluid with the drying cloth. Once again, I will probably just speed through this only because I just wanna take a little bit of time just to make sure that I've gotten right into all the corners and got everything off the center of the screen as well. So now what I'm going to do is to use one of these dust absorber stickers. Now what these are for are to just kind of pat over the screen and it's meant to take off any excess dust that you may have on the screen. However, I would do this as close to the time that you're going to put your tempered glass on just so that you don't give any extra time for more dust to collect on your screen. However, obviously I've just got to kind of do this the way that I'm doing it, you know, for the sake of this tutorial. So hopefully I don't get more dust on my screen after I've done this. Now, the only thing that I would say here as well is that in the past, I have not been very successful with these. I've tended to get my fingers on the glass as well at this point. So just be very careful with this and your mileage may vary compared to mine. So. What I'm going to do is just take this off and then what I'm going to do is just kind of fold it back on itself like this as we can see and then just start patting or padding down the screen here and then hopefully this is going to be taken off any excess dust that is on the screen. Now I'm going to speed through this as well because this might take me a little bit of time. Okay, so it's now time for me to attach this applicator or this frame or guide, whatever you wanna call it. And if we have a look on the inside here, it's actually got like a lip all the way around it on the inside. So that just means that it can only go on the one way and it just kind of clips on around the edges. So when you do this as well, whatever you do, do not get your fingers on the screen. So let me just try this. Now, it could be the case that you might want to do this beforehand. So obviously you don't have to worry about getting your fingers on the screen when you apply it. But the problem is if you put it on beforehand, maybe it's going to be harder to, to clean into the corners and stuff. So let me just try this now. And I'm quite happy with the way that this is going. There we go. I didn't get my fingers on the screen. That's good. So it's now time to apply the tempered glass. Now just make sure it goes on the right way. What it is, we'll see a notch here into the center of the glass. That notch will line up with the camera. Now there is a smaller secondary notch here as well on the glass. That actually is to like go around one of the sensors which you may not see on the actual frame there of the Tab S8. But nonetheless, make sure that that middle notch there lines up with the camera. Now also, when this goes on, what you have to do, there's some little cellophane on the corner here that, or there's like a sticker attached to cellophane on the corner, sorry. You pull that away and then pull the cellophane off 
and then what you do once the cellophane starts coming off then guide the actual tempered glass into the frame so what I'm gonna do now is stay quiet as I do this bit Okay, so as we can see there, I wasn't quite as successful going straight on as I thought I would be. There's a couple of bubbles here. Now, I did find a little bit of difficulty getting it in at the edges up here. It, it, it kind of felt like it was sticking a little bit. However, I'm fairly confident that I can get these bubbles out just by using the cloth. So give me a second and I will just speed through this. Okay, so what I've managed to do there is to push those bubbles out that were on towards the edges. Now, I know that wasn't very elegant and stuff, and maybe people might be thinking, but those bubbles shouldn't really be there, should they? Well, the reality of this is that no matter how many screen protectors you put on, quite often you will definitely get bubbles towards the edges. So that's just something I think you have to practically accept can happen sometimes. However, if you can push the bubbles out and get rid of them then, it's kind of job done at that point. Also, I could have just switched over to that second protector as well and tried that one instead and seen if I'd have got a better job doing that. But the problem is I wanted to show people what can actually happen and maybe sometimes you do run into some slight problems. That's why I didn't bother using the second protector and that's why I've kind of done that little bit of a fight to push the bubbles out at the edges there. Now what I'm gonna do anyway is power on the Tab S8 and let's have a closer look at it. Okay, so now that it's all switched on, what I'm going to do here is try and get the Tab S8 as close to my camera as possible and try and get the best focus that I can, just so that you can see as clearly as possible how well that this has actually gone on. So what I'm gonna do is just kinda of go right round the edges and stuff and just kind of like get close in as far as the center is concerned. And I think what we're gonna see here is that this has actually gone on extremely well. Okay, so what it is, I've just edited everything up to this point now so I could see exactly what's gone on. Now, it's very obvious that there was some issues around the edges there after I shown you those close-ups. Well, I'm gonna have to say that was user error. I think I've just waited too long, like, you know, after doing the main cleaning before I put the glass on. And I think I might have touched part of the screen as well as I was as I was doing this. So yes, I'm definitely putting it down to user error. However, the one thing that I will say though, and we can see this right now, is that the glass was perfectly aligned because it has now gone into a case properly. Anyone who's done stuff like this in the past, they will know if the glass doesn't go on straight, then you're gonna have problems putting them into cases that have got little lips on them you know, to grip the tablets and that. And the other thing as well here is like the camera alignment was brilliant. So that camera is not being impeded, the glass isn't cutting into the camera or anything like that. So I know, yes, it wasn't like 100% perfect, although as you did see as well during the close-ups, no issues into the center, no bubbles, nothing. And like I say, I'm putting down any of the issues here on the edges down to user error, as in me. Anyways, I would totally recommend this particular tempered glass because of that applicator, and it definitely does make things a lot easier. Just concentrate on what you're doing as you're doing it, and try not to be talking as you do these things either, because that really doesn't help. Anyways, I'm gonna dive off now, because what it is, I've still obviously got a spare one from that pack, and I'm going to attempt the same thing now on my Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 as well let's see if I can learn from the mistakes from this video as ever there will be links in the description below to this video taking you to Amazon to where you can buy anything that I've used in the video